September the 30th, 2019. Guys, you know that I look at a lot of things, and a lot of things we can't report on anymore, and uh, it's got to do with politics and things like that. But there's other things that are going on besides just politics, and if you don't mind, I'm going to talk about the spiritual level for a minute because there's a lot of deception going on there as much as in the Democratic House, including the rhinos, and you know what I'm talking about. But guys, this has been on my mind and uh, something that really kind of strikes that nerve to, if you're a watchman that you have to say something. And I want to go to Ezekiel 13.1, if you'll bear with me a moment. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say that thou unto them that thou prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. In other words, they don't prophesy on what the Lord is saying, but it's out of their own heart, their own mind. Thus saith the Lord, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone into, up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge of the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. What does that mean? And it angers me when I see the condition of our spiritual, so-called spiritual leaders. It means they have not properly prepared you. They have not went into depth in the scriptures. And they are misleading you on safety and security. Have you not seen a vain vision? And have you not spoken a lying divination? Whereas you say the Lord saith it, now be it, I have not spoken. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore, behold, listen to me, preachers, I am against you, saith the Lord God, and mine hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies and that shall not be in the assembly of my people. What? Neither shall they be written in the writings of the house of Israel. Guys, you think that might be the book of life that's open, opened into the book of Revelation? And if your name is not there, what happens? Neither shall they, this is the preachers, false preachers, enter into the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord God. Why? Because I have spoken, you didn't listen, and it came true. Now, I'm going to stay in the book of Ezekiel for a minute, and I want to point out something, one of the most irritating things to a watchman on this planet. And again, just dropping back to Ezekiel 7 for a moment, it says, They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none go to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Guys, we're getting to that point. The sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city famine and pestilence shall devour him. Guys, in my videos for years, I've said the cities are traps. But they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valley, all of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. What? And all hands shall be feeble, and all knees shall be weak as water. Why? Because they've been told lies. The preachers have not built up that hedge. They have not built up that wall of protection. Why? Because they're lying for what's in their heart and for their profit. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon their faces, and baldness upon all their heads. Why? Because they lied, and the other ones listened to the lie. When it was written in the Bible, but no, you decided to follow man. They shall cast their silver. Listen, for you people that listen to these preachers that push noble gold and some of these other gold investments, they shall cast their silver in the streets and they shall, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. And guys, if you are, you think 
you're walking down the right path following some man that teaches you to invest in gold and silver when right here in the very word that you stand on or say you stand on even though most people that follow men are biblically illiterate then you better wake up because this is what's happening this is exactly what is going on right now in other words they are listening to their own heart for profit how many times has that happened in the priesthood in the old testament and the new so guys this is what i'm talking about i can end this quick and i will when you see this happening that's bad enough when just regular people that you see on the news or that do reports on YouTube or whatever, Facebook, tell you to invest in the stumbling block of their iniquity. Why will it not satisfy their souls? Because you can't eat it. Instead of preparing yourself and your family, you are rushing and following your preacher to invest in gold and silver. Now feed that to your kids when it hits the fan. Do it. You better wake up, guys. We are in the end times, and it says evil and good will be separated, and we will be at war. And we are. Look at the swamp. Look at D.C. So we don't need, we got enough trouble in the swamp. Let me say that. We don't need these false preachers leading you down this road to that's going to become the stumbling block of your iniquity. Again, I've just seen this enough. I'm sick of it. If you're fool enough to follow these people that go against the Bible, that stand on the Bible or say they do, then you have to pay the price. It's a heads up. Be safe.